In this feature video, we're going to look at connecting WYSIWYG to a MagicQ console or MagicQ PC system. Now, the setup I've got here, I've got WYSIWYG running on a PC and I've got a MagicQ console. You can run WYSIWYG and MagicQ on the same PC and the setup is very similar. In fact, it's even simpler. So I've networked already a network cable between my console and my PC. First off, we need to set some IP addresses. So I'm going to go to the console, setup, view settings, network, and I've set a static IP. I've set the IP of my console as 2.0.0.10 and it's subnet of 255.0.0.0. I'm now going to come over to my PC and I'm going to go to control panel and I go to network sharing center. I'm going to go to my network settings and click ethernet here. But I'm going to hit properties and I'm setting a static IP address on my PC. Uh, so I then go down to your TCP uh, IPv4, select properties. The default on a Windows PC would be obtain IP address automatically. Uh, because I'm connecting direct to the console, there's no router involved. I need to set a static IP. So I'm going to select use the following IP address and enter in here 2.0.0.30. In reality, it could be something, anything in the 2. Dot range, 2.1.2.3, uh, uh, with a subnet mask or slash 8 subnet mask of 255. 0 .0 uh, once I've set that, you can hit OK, uh, close, and come out of Control Panel. Uh, back in WYSIWYG, if you do change your IP address, recommend restart uh, WYSIWYG. I've got a demo show already loaded, and we have a bi-directional communication between WYSIWYG and MagicQ. It's not just one way to get the patch in or send art there, it's two ways. So we can take things like transfer patch into MagicQ, and we can also control WYSIWYG from a console as well. Uh, so next off, you need to go to live mode in WYSIWYG, and we'll presume at this point you've already patched your fixtures in WYSIWYG. You've given them a universe, given them an address, given them a circuit, so you're ready to go. Uh, if you need more information on that, take a look at the cast uh, WYSIWYG tutorials where they uh, go through how to set your DMX addresses of fixtures in WYSIWYG. Uh, so we're going to go down to managers, and we're going to go down to device manager. Uh, we've, I've already got here inserted a CAMSYS uh, MagicQ uh, console. You need the Campsys Magic U WYSIWYG driver, and that's included with the software from version 1905 onwards. In earlier versions, you need to get the driver separately from the Campsys website. So we come to Device Manager, we go New, we go Consoles, we select Manufacturer, we select Campsys, select Campsys Magic U, and we insert that as a console. That'll get you to this point here. We're not connected at this point. We need to go to Properties, and we need to bind our universes. We need to say which WYSIWYG universes are going to be connecting to MagicQ. So at this point, let's jump over to our MagicQ console. We've set the IP address in MagicQ already. We're now going to go to the View DMXIO window, and you can see you've got the Visualizer column here. The default for the Visualizer column is MagicViz. Now, a little shortcut, if you tap the, the title heading at the top of the column there, we'll select everything in that column. Then you can click in the command box on the right-hand side here to bring up the set of options available. You've got, uh, obviously, CaptureViz, but we're looking at WYSIWYG here. You've got either WYSIWYG remote or on the same PC. Now, if you're running on the same PC, you can ignore the IP address setting part of this video, uh, but you'd set then uh, WYSIWYG same PC. We're running remote, so I'm going to select WYSIWYG remote. Now I've set that. Uh, I'm already running a new show, so if I go to my patch window, you can see there's no fixtures in there. Go to layout one, there's no heads, nothing to show you. It's a blank show otherwise. But I've now set that up in MagicQ. Come back to WYSIWYG, and I now set the universes together. So I select you know, the port. Uh, that's the Magic Universe, and then the WYSIWYG Universe, how I want to bind those together. Uh, so get the ordering of those right. Once you've done that, uh, you can see I'm not connected here at the moment. I hit the Connect button, and it should now detect my console, and you can see it now reports connected. So I'm now connected to the console. At this point, though, the two are just connected, but I haven't done any transfer of information. To do that, I'm going to go up to the Live tab, and I'm going to select Auto Patch. Now, if you already had a patch in Magic Queue already, uh, you hit Clear Patch. But I've got a new show, so I don't need to do that. So I'm now going to hit Send Patch. And you can see it now says Send Patch completed successfully. I can close that in WYSIWYG. And now press my Patch button in Magic Queue. And you can see it will now patch my Magic Queue console. It's now patched up the console, and it's patched my dimmers, the auras, pointies, uh, and LED fixtures in there, all ready to go. If I go to the Layout 1 view, you can see I can go and select the four pointies and locate them. And you can see I'm controlling WYSIWYG now. It's a direct two-way connection, so I've taken the patch from WYSIWYG and it's patched my MagicQ console. I haven't gone to have to go to choose head and set addresses. It's taken that from my WYSIWYG show file and it's patched up my console. I've now got direct control, so you can see I can go to position and I can start programming those fixtures using WYSIWYG. So I can go and fan those out. 
I can go and set a color on those like so. But it's two-way comms. You can also use WYSIWYG to send information when you're programming into Magic Cube. So if you've been using WYSIWYG as your visualizer and maybe you've set your focus positions or you've done uh, some looks in live mode in WYSIWYG, you can transfer that information and speed up your programming uh, into Magic Cube. So if I come back to WYSIWYG and I go to the Live tab and I right click and I select the fixtures. So let's go, let's select fixtures by type, let's select the pointies. And then I've opened up some of the attribute editors. Uh, if I go, say, to Pan and Tilt, and let me open up the programmer window on my console, you can see that on the screen now. You can see there's some Pan and Tilt values there. But if I now go and grab, say, a Tilt, uh, and I go and tilt those lights up and down, you can see that Tilt value changing real time on my console. I'm modifying that on the desk via WYSIWYG. The same for colors. I can go and pick a different color on the color wheel, and you can see that's updating real time on the console from the information from WYSIWYG. Uh, that's in the programmer on my Magic Cube console now, so I could go on and I can go and record some position palettes or record cues uh, of that information connected to WYSIWYG. So that's connecting WYSIWYG to a Magic Cube console or PC system.